Homemade gnocchi is a game changer. And once you have like the homemade ones, you're like, oh. So starting out with gnocchi, make sure you put your potatoes into cold water so that they cook completely even all the way through. So once your potatoes have boiled about 30 minutes, you're gonna be looking for the skin to start cracking. That's a great indicator that they're gonna be cooked through. We're gonna just remove them to a plate so that they can cool completely so we can start making the gnocchi dough. So once your potatoes are cooled, we're going to just peel them. The skin will come right off. This is a ricer. The reason why I like using this is it helps incorporate a little more air into your potato so your finished product is nice and light. Once you have your potato all riced, you're going to beat your egg, whisk it just a little bit, add it with your cream, and pour that over your potatoes. Sprinkle with a little bit of salt. You'll mix this all together. Again, trying to keep as much air in the potato as possible. You want it nice and light and fluffy. Give it a, one little sprinkle of your nutmeg if you'd like. And then you're gonna take your flour, and make a well in the center. And this is when the fun starts. Put your potato mixture in the middle of the flour. And then you start incorporating it using two knives. Again, remembering all that nice fluffy air that we want to keep in there. And you just chop it up. So once you have this down to little pea sizes, as if you were working butter into a pie crust, you can start working it with your hands. The quicker you work, the softer your gnocchi will be. If it sits for a while at this point, all that flour will soak in the liquid of the potato and they will get very dense. I'm gonna form it into a log. To make it easier to work, cut it in half and then into fourths. And you'll work with one of these at a time, just like Play-Doh. Roll it into the snake. And you'll repeat this until you've done it with all four of the sections. There, cut each little gnocchi. Take your fork and dust it with the flour over. And then to get that classic gnocchi look, just roll it on. These classic lines are there so that they can really grasp whatever sauce you're gonna use for your end product. So you're gonna drop your gnocchi into salted boiling water. You're gonna let them cook until you see them start to rise to the top. So you're gonna to wanna to be super gentle with the gnocchi now that they're cooked. Don't just pour them into a colander. That heavy water will make them smash. So gently take them out. And at this point, you can let them cool completely. Drizzle them with a little bit of olive oil so that they don't stick. And wait till later on in the evening to add them to whatever sauce you're gonna be making. 